This week on The Wire, homes selling at record speeds, rents rise as vacancies fall, and growth highest in 10 years. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, homes are selling at record speeds. So the property boom shows no signs of slowing down with Aussies buying properties at record speeds. Now homes sold on average in just 32 days in May, down from 37 days in April, and that's according to realestate.com.au. But eager house hunters were even quicker in some states with properties on the website selling in just 24 days in the ACT, 27 in New South Wales, and 28 in Victoria. Now Anne Flaherty from realestate.com.au, uh, she's an economist there, says the market continues to boom with demand outpacing supply. She says we are seeing properties sell at record speeds, so buyers are having to move quickly to compete in these market conditions. While demand may moderate over the coming winter months, views per listing increased in May and is now just shy of a six historic high earlier this year. Now the report also reveals that for the first time there were more than twice as many searches on realestate.com.au for properties over the $1 million mark than there were for properties under 500,000. And now guys, moving on to our next story. Rents rise as vacancies fall. So rents are rising across Australia as vacancy rates continue to fall to unprecedented lows. Now, SQM research reports that the national vacancy rate fell from 1.8% in May compared with 2.5% a year ago. Now, SQM Managing Director Louis Christopher says vacancy rates continue to fall Australia-wide, which is forcing up rents, particularly in regional locations. Now, the report notes that vacancy rates have dropped in Sydney and Melbourne, with Sydney now at 2.9%, down from 4% a year ago. Melbourne is now the only capital city above 3%, with other six capital cities all below 1.5%. Now, Louis Christopher says, this trend of falling rates, vacancies and higher rents is likely to remain through the second half of the year, given the fierce competition for rental accommodation in many areas. Now, REIA President Adrian Kelly says, the median rent for three bedroom houses increased in all capital cities over the March quarter, Darwin had the highest annual growth at 17%. Now guys, moving on to our final story for the week. Growth highest in 10 years. So capital city prices for both houses and units rose in the March quarter at the highest rate in a decade. The REIA's uh, latest real estate market facts report has found. Now the REIA president, Adrian Kelly, says the weighted average capital city median price increased at 6.8% for houses, 2.8% for units in the March quarter. Now over the March quarter, the median house price for the eight capital cities rose to $874,000. Now at $1.3 million, Sydney's median house remains the highest amongst the capital cities, and that's 50% higher than the national average. And at $500,000, Perth has the lowest house median uh, house price, I should say, across the capitals, 43% lower. Kelly says over the 12 months to the 31st of March, the weighted capital city median house price rose by 11.1%. Now over the quarter, the median price for other dwellings increased in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Hobart and Darwin, remaining steady in Brisbane and Canberra but decreased in Adelaide. Well guys, that's it from me today. That's all that's happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember guys, there is only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot and bye for now.